Wall Street strategists are feeling increasingly bullish on equities going into 2024. But how are investors feeling? Investopedia says sentiment has shifted with $40 billion into stock ETFs over the past two weeks, the largest inflow since February of 2022. It points to B of A's bold bear indicator standing at neutral and Investopedia's own anxiety index at near 2023 lows. Joining us now to break it all down, we have Caleb Silver, Investopedia editor-in-chief my own personal friend and friend of show, friend Good of Yahoo Finance. Good to see you. Great to see you. Uh, so let's talk about what investor sentiment is like now based on your readings. What is the overall feeling? Yeah, it's getting a little bit better. And it was pretty rough, as you remember, back in October. But just that shift and that drop in Treasury yields, you guys have been talking about it, has sort of released the pressure valve a little bit. So when we look at what people are looking for on Investopedia and around the stock world, and also what they're doing with their money, it's definitely shifted. You talked about the $40 billion in to stock ETFs in just the past few weeks. That's the biggest rush of inflows since February of 2022. People have been sitting on a lot of cash, as you know, over five and a half trillion in money market accounts. That shows you that people are into it. The B of A bull bear indicator, I should say, that moved so quickly in the past two weeks. It's the fastest move they've ever seen from extreme cautiousness to neutral to where money managers are looking to put money together. Our own anxiety index, which tracks search volume around fear-based terms, that is really chill right now. So people are feeling a little bit better as these bond yields have come down and it appears that the Fed may be done raising rates. Caleb, when it comes to retail investors that are putting money to work right now, what are some of the stocks that are favored? Are it the names that have outperformed this year? Yeah, well, Jared was just talking about Bitcoin, mm -hmm. which is a pretty good <laughs> indicator that risk is on right now. Risk is off, I should say. But when you look at the stocks, you look at Vander Research, what they're tracking, the big names, the big tech and mega cap tech names, Tesla, NVIDIA, Apple, Amazon, Google, and then the TQQQs. This is that inverse when... Uh, the Qs rise, the QQQs rise. This sort of triples that bet. It's a levered bet on the rise of the Qs. And that shows you how aggressive investors, especially retail investors, are right now. All right, Caleb, we've also been chit-chatting about this. Like some of your top searches on Investopedia, the Santa Claus rally is one. Do you think investments as gifts would be gratefully received this holiday season? Of course, who doesn't want to get <laughs> know, an investment right? as a gift? But I think what that is is an anticipation of one of the strongest times of the year, the Santa Claus rally. Actually, right now, guys, we're in the in the one of the best two-week stretches for the market all year, the sort of end of November, early December, two-week run here. But the Santa Claus rally, Seasonally pretty predictable, not last year, but seasonally pretty predictable. People are anticipating that. Just the fact that people are searching for that shows you that the appetite is still strong. People have been waiting to buy stocks all year. We track our, our newsletter readers every two months. We survey them, and they have been cautious all year, preferring to put their money in CDs, preferring money market accounts. Now they want stocks. They want to know what the all-time high is for the Dow. They think we're nearing that. We're not that close for the Dow. We are for the S&P 500. Also, the wash sale rule. Anybody that's had losers this year is thinking about selling them. They, you got to know you can't sell them and rebuy them within that period of time. Otherwise, that is against the law. But then you also see some people suffering with their personal finances, looking for the best cash advance apps, and then when to cash in those I bonds. So you got this fear on the one hand of their personal financial situation, but the promiscuity when it comes to the stock market and putting money to work. Caleb, how much, when it comes to the stock market and putting money to work right now, this optimism maybe that we're sensing from some of these retail investors, how much of that is driven by this FOMO rally that we've been talking about, fear of missing out. They've seen the gains in a handful of these stocks since the start of the year. They're doing everything they can to maybe make a few bucks before you end. Yeah, it's pretty predictable. And I feel that way too, right? I've been cautious as well. I've been regular on my 401k. A lot of people have. And we were talking to BlackRock the other day. People have been regular about the 401k contributions, those that have that nudge. Other people, retail investors that invest on the side or do their own self-directed investing, they haven't been putting money to work at all. So I think there's a fear that they've missed a rally, and they have, and that things may continue to get better as rates come down a little bit and as we may have hit that terminal point for the Federal Reserve and its interest rate hikes. And what are you seeing in terms of how the retail investor feels about crypto now? Yeah, well, there's only a small population that's really into it, but everyone's always interested when you get those increases in price. So a couple of years ago, it was the Thanksgiving table conversation in a lot of families. This year, not a lot of people were talking about it, but slowly but surely, Bitcoin's been creeping up. It's the anticipation probably of those ETFs, but it's also, also the fact that when Treasury bond yields fall, everything opens up a little bit. We breathe a little bit easier and risky assets come back into fashion. Okay, the one word that we haven't discussed yet is recession. How much do retail investors, are they still worried about a recession or are they almost shrugging off what the impact could be to the equity market? Yeah, 
We survey our readers again every two months to ask them what their biggest concerns are. Right now, understandably, it's the war with Israel and Hamas. But inflation was a big deal. Recession is probably fourth or fifth on that list. It used to be number one on that list. High interest rates, yeah. persistently high inflation, all of those things were bothering them. But you know what was bothering them the last few months a lot? The prospects of the 2024 election. Not who will win, but just the uncertainty that will come about because of what happened in the last election and kind of where we are politically today. And we talked to Mark Zandi about that, too. One of his biggest uh, risks uh, he sees uh, for the market, for the economy, uh, looking ahead to 2024. Kev Silver, always great to have you. Thanks so much. Thank you.